You know, God has an incredible purpose for your life. He didn't create you and me for no purpose. He was very intentional when He created us. We need to believe that and hold on to that truth with all that we have. But God is not man, and His ways or thoughts are infinitely greater than our ways and thoughts, which means that what He has in store for us is beyond what we can comprehend. When we think about the magnitude of what He has in store for us, we get overwhelmed by its enormity. The challenge we face is wondering how God will fulfill His promises as stated in His Word. Sometimes, people find themselves in such tough situations that, despite knowing God can do the impossible, they still wonder how He'll make it happen. They look around and see no obvious way for God to show up. As I look at my own life, I can think of several times when I thought about the how. I wondered how God would fulfill what He promised to me. What about you? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6 If you look at this verse closely, it is telling us that trusting in the Lord means to abandon our own understanding of the way things are or should be, and to surrender to Him. It is when we submit to Him that He makes our paths clear. We need to surrender the how to Him. It's not our responsibility to figure out the how. God wants us to trust Him with the how. The clearest example is when people are believing God for finances. Sometimes they see no way God can provide what they want and are believing for. Their salaries and allowances may be too small, and they have no relative or friends who could give them that money as a gift. When they see no avenue for a miracle, they begin to get weak in faith and eventually stop believing. But did God ask you to figure the how out for Him? Who told you God needed your avenues to do what He promised? He doesn't want us doing His job because we can't do His job. He wants us to trust Him wholeheartedly. That's our job. On one occasion, a large crowd was following Jesus. They saw the healings He was performing, and they followed Him to a mountain. But they hadn't eaten anything, and Jesus wanted to feed them, which was an impossible task because Jesus and the disciples didn't have enough money to feed all those people. Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. John chapter 6, verse 5 to 6. Jesus was testing Philip to see if he would trust him to feed the people, but instead, Philip went further into the how. He looked at what he had and came up short. With the resources he had, he would not be able to feed those people, but Jesus wanted Philip to trust him to feed all those people. He wanted him to stop figuring out the how and instead know that Jesus had everything under control. And you know, we can be like Philip at times. We think the how is our responsibility and we try to go out on our own and do stuff. The how is God's department. He knows how He do the impossible in your life. You don't have to worry if what God promised you will come to pass because it will no matter how impossible it seems. In the end, Jesus feed the hungry people. He took care of the how not Philip. 
Anytime God makes a promise to you, he has the how figured out. Don't worry about how, just believe his word. With God, nothing, absolutely nothing shall be impossible. Stop asking God and yourself, how will this happen? Leave the how to him. Your responsibility is to trust him and hold on to his word. Zechariah, John the Baptist's dad, had to deal with this exact issue. Zechariah and Elizabeth wanted children, but they couldn't because of the challenges they had to face. And they were both righteous before God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and statutes of the Lord. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Luke chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. But one day, something amazing happened. The angel Gabriel appeared to Zechariah and told him the best news. His prayers had been answered, and he would have a son. But instead of rejoicing and being happy because of the news, he began to focus on the how. And Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I was sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things take place because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. Luke chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. The how is God's responsibility, not ours. Nothing is too hard for him and nothing is impossible for him so we can trust him with the how. We need to stop trying to figure out the how. God will fulfill what he has promised us, and we need to trust him to do it his way. So with that, let's pray. King Jesus, we trust you to do what you have promised your way. The how is your responsibility, and you want us to trust you to do things your way. You want us to let you fulfill your promises in you way. We don't need to try to figure out the how because you have got this. If there is any unbelief in our heart, we bring it to you. We want to walk by faith and not by fear. What you have promised will come to pass even when it seems impossible. We will not consume ourselves trying to figure out the how but we make a decision to trust you even more. Lord, we acknowledge that your ways are far beyond our understanding. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and your plans for us are greater than we can imagine. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we wonder how you will fulfill your promises to us. We may be surrounded by challenges that seem insurmountable, and we struggle to see a way for your promises to come to pass. Yet, your word reminds us to trust in you with all our hearts and to lean not on our own understanding. We surrender our need to figure out the how to you, Lord. You are the master planner, and you have the perfect way to fulfill your promises in our lives. We release our doubts and fears, knowing that you are in control. Father, when we face financial challenges or other difficulties, we often try to find solutions on our own. We forget that you are the provider of all good things. Help us to trust you wholeheartedly, knowing that you can do the impossible. Strengthen our faith so that we do not waver, even when circumstances seem bleak. Just as you tested Philip's faith when faced with feeding a large crowd, test our faith, Lord. Help us to trust you without reservation, 
knowing that you have everything under control. When doubts creep in, remind us that the how is your responsibility, not ours. We reflect on the story of Zechariah and Elizabeth who longed for a child but faced obstacles. When Zechariah questioned the possibility of your promise, you remained faithful. Teach us, Lord, to trust you, even when circumstances seem impossible. You are the God of miracles and nothing is too hard for you. We surrender our doubts and fears to you, Lord. Fill our hearts with unwavering faith and confidence in your promises. We choose to walk by faith and not by fear, believing that what you have promised will come to pass in your perfect timing and your perfect way. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your unending love. We place our trust in you, knowing that you will never fail us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.